Are you going to be fired or disciplined or micromanaged by your employer if you dare express how you really fail, feel and say what you really mean on Facebook and other social media platforms? Is that your reality? You have to be micromanaged when you're off the time clock, otherwise you might face some sort of consequence at your job? So my natural question for you, if that's your circumstance, which apparently for almost all of you it is, why do you put up with that? And of course the response that I hear 100% of the time, or 99% of the time, is because, hey, you gotta make money, gotta have some way to pay the bills and eat and things like that. So then my next natural question is, why do you allow yourself to stay in that set of circumstances where you've pretty much given someone the keys to manipulate and control your time away from you? Otherwise, they can just yank your ability to support yourself and your family away from you. Why do you stay there? And why aren't you doing something, at least in your spare time, a few minutes in your day every day, that you can emerge at some future point being able to be a free human being and not have to live underneath that tyrannical nonsense anymore. So why aren't you doing those things? So for, gosh, almost almost everybody out there, you tend to stop at, well, I have to pay my bills and eat and things like that. Yeah, it sucks. I can't really do what I want with my time. I can't even go on social media and, and say what I really want to say because they're looking. Those employers are out there looking and I might suffer a consequence that suffers my ability to eat and survive and nourish my kids and so forth. And you typically stop right there. You don't dig any deeper. There's no curiosity for most people to ask further questions and say, well, what can I do to change my circumstance? That is my circumstance right now. It is what it is. I got to have this money to pay the bills for my job and so on. But what can I do about that to solve that problem? And then you could learn something about residual income and passive income owning something that you can build in your spare time outside of everything else you've got going on and learn how to do that so you can emerge at some future point. How long is it going to take? I don't know, a couple of years or so, but that's irrelevant. That time is going to pass by anyway, so you might as well emerge at a future point being glad you did instead of regretful that you didn't. That's a pretty big deal. So ask why and ask why behind the why. Be curious, man. And you don't have to live underneath that nonsense anymore. And I'll close with this note. There's an enormous discrepancy out there with a lot of people, almost everybody. And that is, in one sentence, someone will say, I'm free. I can do what I want. No one's going to tell me what to do. And then the next breath, I got to be on somebody else's time clock from 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. Or for some of you, it's even worse. So you're a free human being. You can do what you want, say what you want. But, oh, wait, uh, you can't really do what you want on social media when you're off the clock. Even So when you're on the clock, you know, your time belongs to your employer. Fine. But even off the clock, your time still belongs to your... It's not a 9-to-5 job anymore. It's 24-7. You're totally owned and manipulated. Wow. So why why stay there? Why, why stay there? Because you got to pay bills. Yeah, but go go further than that and ask what you can do to get out of that to emerge at some future point to where you don't have to be there anymore and you can fire your boss or keep your boss but the point is you'll have that option so get into passive and residual money that's the answer i just gave it to you passive and residual money but once you have that um once you know about that you can start doing the hard work roll up your sleeves and start building it so that you can walk away from being somebody else's slave, a modern day wage slave or salary slave, controlled and manipulated, your time controlled and manipulated away from you. You can't really do with it what you want, not just nine to five, but 24 seven, even on social media, that's nonsense. And then here's the thing that really gets me. I see people all the time on Facebook whenever they get a job promotion or they find a new job that they really like, they're so happy and they're bragging about it. And it's like, on one hand, yeah, I, I guess I can see the celebratory of it. But on the other hand, it's like, oh, you just signed away more of your time. You just, and, and you're happy about it. You just willingly gave up more of your own personal freedom. All the while, you probably gloat about how free you are, but there's a big discrepancy you're not. It's not just your nine to five, it's your 24 seven outside of your nine to five because you can't do what you want even on social media without suffering a possible consequence. 
that's not a free human being. So learn about residual and passive money. You can Google search it. You can YouTube search it. You can also go to my website. I've been blogging about it for years. I started 11 years ago. 11. About two and a half years into it, for me, I got to walk away from that nonsense of having my time and my life controlled and manipulated away from me. So that was a long time ago. TomBirkenmeyer.com is my website. Start reading some of these uh, blog posts and videos I've made about it. TomBirkenmeyer.com, just like it's spelled here on social media. And roll your sleeves up and emerge at that future point a free human being. It's worth it. That time's going to pass by anyway. Be glad you did, or you'll regret that you didn't a couple of years from now.